Alrighty, it looks like we are here, everybody. Well, at least I'm here. So, as y'all can see here, this, this is what it's called. It's called Amazon HQ2. 238 proposals from cities and regions. 54 states, provinces, and all that crap. Oh, wow. But a Puerto Rico actually decided to do it. It's pretty cool. So, yes, we have uh, provinces in Canada. And we have... Almost all 50 states, except for Arkansas, New Hampshire, the Dakotas, Wyoming, and Montana. And we have three provinces, actually, in New in Mexico. So that's pretty cool. So, as so y'all can see here, what is Amazon's second headquarters? So, um, it's basically a second headquarters in North America. Um, basically, there's almost no space and are basically trying to make an excuse to build something else somewhere at, to try and build somewhere else because Seattle has like nothing has like no tech has no tech they've basically absorbed all of the tech pool in Seattle plus they don't have a single oh well, yeah they don't really have a lot of space to build and they can't really build up because they've already topped every uh, skyscraper so, I think we all know what Amazon is about. But yeah, let's look at this. It'll be the second um, headquarters in North America. Local and regional talent, particularly software development and related fields. As well as stable and business-friendly environments to continue hiring and innovating on behalf of our customers. Well, yes, they actually do, we actually do. It actually is pretty cool. So... Uh, okay. We don't care about this stuff. Okay. Um, so here is basically what they want. This stuff, these four bullet points are required. And I don't think they put up a, uh... Oh, wow. They didn't actually put up some of the other things. Okay. So, let me go back up. Because this is like, this is like the actual, um, request for proposal sent to like every city it's like where all the cities have to look for so um project okay so here's what they want amazon wants a metropolitan area with more than 1 million people metropolitan area this is not just a city Th this means you can put it in like fort plano frisco you can put it anywhere in you can put it anywhere in the metro, in any metroplex. A stable and business-friendly environment. Well, okay, I kind of get that. It's, it's probably pretty good. It's business-friendly. I mean, like, I have no clue what, what that would mean. Urban or suburban locations with and restrained talk, strong technical talent. Okay, um, I think the main, like, I think here... They want to try and look for. S oh, oops. <laughs> you don't want that. No. I accidentally pressed the power button. I'm just going to turn on the sound. Okay. So, urban or suburban locations with the potential to attract and retrain strong technical talent. So, they want a place where they have something similar to this, like the Telecom Corridor out in Richardson. Yes, that is actually true. The telecom corridor, like, between your speaking, well, no, not 121, 75 and 635, is, like, one of the biggest, when it was between, yeah, it's between George Bush and 635. That is, like, the second biggest, um, place where it has, like, it's like this, yeah, that's, like, the second, um, biggest place, well, like location where all the like, where all the companies go to. What's up top of it? Silicon Valley. That's why the nickname of the telecom corridor could also be Silicon Prairie. I mean, DFW is actually a pretty good place to come because not only do we have um, tech giants like uh, AT and T. Um, you know, let's look up. DFW met 
a plaque. I just wanna... Okay, here we go. Yeah, I mean, let's look at this. Um, Economy. I have to take this. I don't know why I get all, any of that stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Metroplex also contains the largest information technology industry business in the state. Often referred to as Silicon Valley tel Telecom Corridor. Especially referring to US 5 through Richardson just north of Dallas itself. This area has a large number of corporate IT pro Wait, where, where's my mouse? Okay, IT projects in the presence of numerous electronic companies, uh, such as Microsoft, Texas Instruments, HP, Dell, Nokia, i2, AT&T, uh, Alcatel, Ericsson, CA, Google, and Verizon in in the round Dallas. I will say this. Several major, I mean, look, this is basically like, Dot, like our economy of the Dallas Fort Worth area is like the place for everybody to come. I'm sorry, my thing is so shaky. I'm like holding this off of my hand and not in there. Really, when considering locations and real estate options, hmm. it's actually pretty good. Now, let's actually let me go down. Yeah. So they, these are the core preferences as to what they want. So proximity to a population center, which is around 30 miles. Well, that's actually, it's actually pretty good. I mean, a lot of the places you could, you could find like a good amount of places in DFW where you could find this like a half hour away from whatever. Proximity to an international airport. Uh, it's on approximately 45 minutes. So... There's a good. I think if you look, if you like, if you pay attention to some of the, some of the internet things for Dallas, a lot of like the big places that they're referencing to, like uh, Dallas Midtown, which is like right next, which is actually where the Galleria and Valley View Mall. Are. Um, we also have several things downtown, so. Major arterial roads are like everywhere for us. Um, at site access to mass transit, that means the thing has to be built for that. Which actually, there's a few places it's really good because there's one, yeah, there's one site in, oh, let me get out of California, get out of San Jose. I was looking up something. So let's go to Dallas, Fort Worth. Let me scoot out more. There we go. Okay. So here is where we are. So here is downtown Dallas. Um, this right here. Wait, no. Sorry, sorry. This right here, actually, is go was going to be a um, pretty big thing. And actually, it makes total and absolute sense. Because this is Union Station right here. This goes through, this has access to several major, well, I think this is kind of like the core station for the DART line. So it's like everything runs through here or run, yeah, everything runs through here. So I think definitely right here. This right here is about 50 acres, and it's definitely reasonable to be, especially for um, access to mass transit, because they're right next to all this stuff. Now, there is a site somewhere, um, I don't know exactly where, but there is a site in the, in the Metroplex that... What they were gonna do is it's gonna be right next to a dart to a bullet train. So it's gonna go from let me scoot out. So it's gonna and they're gonna build a proposed bullet train already. So they're yeah, they're gonna build a bullet train from let me turn this around all the way, sorry. Yeah, they're gonna build a bullet train from here to Houston in 90 minutes. What they were wanting to do was they were gonna put the headquarters right there. So that's like the one thing you'll see when you take the bullet train. Whoa! 
Oh, look at that headquarters. But yeah, I mean, could the uh, could we use some more? Um, could we use some more skyscrapers? Yes, of course. Especially here, because I think I remember here. I think I was also reading another thing where on Dallas News where they're gonna build, where they're gonna build probably one of the tallest skyscrapers of the decade, the past decade, which I like, think is pretty good. So we got that. Let's look at another. Oh wait, let's let's go back in here. So building requirements. Uh, initial square feet, they want 500,000 or more by 2019 for phase one. Let's look, let's look here. Uh, Amazon could be an urban or downtown campus, which I think like a lot of the stuff is going to be in and around downtown because of that. Similar layout to Amazon's Seattle campus. Um, I think you'd probably have to like go out there, like go out Development prepped site. We want to encourage. Yeah. So when someone means a development prepped site, it means that um, either a, either number one, it, either one, it's already like there's like there's a lot of land. Nothing's already there. Or number two, you're going to use it. You're going to use some of the older or use some of the uh, things, some of the other things for it. And actually, let me close this one out. Yes, yes, that was Sam Samsung's uh, headquarters. So, let me actually get there. Oh, wow. Okay. So, as I was saying, let's see, 635 in the tollway. This is where uh, the Dallas Midtown is going to be. Now, I... I actually made a video on the whole Dallas Midtown thing, and I have not posted it yet, but I've made one where it makes total absolute sense to build here. Because if the developers already decide to build um, like build out a parking garage, which I think was like right here, for about 1 million square feet of office spaces, well, you can already decide to... Uh, destroy let me shift this over yeah you can already move the guys out of here if Dallas was picked they could come in here fill it out they'll already have a they already have more than 500,000 square feet plus the hotel which I will, which I did say in the video they need in which the developer well Owners of the Western Hotel, they need to renovate this place. We renovate it because it's old, and I don't think they've renovated it yet. But yeah, I got that. Um, let's look at some other sites. I don't. Th I mean, a lot of the sites that I've seen are mainly down here. I mean, I've not seen a lot of sites. Um, actually, actually, one of the sites he right here was going to be. Like, this whole plot of land right here is DFW Airport property, not including Great Wolf Lodge. Probably, like, cut out here and here. But that's all DFW property. So, if they build, um, yeah, if they decide to build the thing there, well, number one, I think this is a big train line. Yeah, this is a train line. So, um... What does this run to? Is this just like a... Oh, this is just like one of those uh, supply chains. So, this could actually be very good to Amazon that they have this. Because number one, if they were able to use that train line, they could be able to ship stuff not by using... They could use, they could ship stuff by freight. By fr freight train and not only by airplanes. Or because also, I do want to say this: their fulfillment center is right here, and they could build here. So it's pretty good. Now I don't doubt this doesn't make it does make sense, but 
not a lot since like this area here is like a lot of warehouses so i mean like people will be like why would you build where why would you build skyscrapers near warehouses i mean i could get it if you want to make like more hotels because i mean the Gaylord Hexen, uh, you got like one or two Hilton, you got like Courtyard Marriott, uh, you got, you got Hilton's, you got a residence in, you got a Hilton, you got all that stuff, but that's not much. Um, actually, and I did think that the business, the 121 business road is right here, and this, who? Lead directly to the lead to DFW airport, but I don't know what they should do it because I think this. What is this? I don't know what this is. I don't know. Oh, it's a farm thing. Yeah. So I don't think they would do that. Otherwise, you could go like out here somewhere. And actually, where is Fort Worth Lions? Huh. Here's what I was thinking. If Fort Worth a lot, this is the this is the big FedEx shipping center. If Amazon decided to um ship stuff out of here because there are two runways actually, so all right. And if you see all these dots, it's basically shale mine. It's basically they're mining for shale uh, oil. So I mean. It's starting to get built out here. Hold up for a second. I'll be back. Yes? Allison's computer? I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm mad. <sighs> Sometimes people forget where stuff is. I'm not criticizing it, but I'm just out of trouble. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of space that DFW can definitely grow in, especially in Frisco, because I mean, Frisco is pretty big, and they have a lot of space to run through. And. Yeah, I actually was looking at 380 a while ago. This is gonna become a big artery. It's gonna become a big uh, arterial road very soon for uh, for basically everyone now, because this road is definitely expanding fast. This is yeah. This is gonna become a Big interchange, so I think US380 is going to become a big thing, but yeah. I mean, there is a lot of stuff, and actually, I think what, um, I think what they should have, let me repeat this again. I think what, um, they should have done, especially here where Wade Park, um, I think what uh, the city of Frisco should do, should have done was they should have advertised uh, Wade Park itself as like the place to build. Because yeah, there's like nothing here, but it's you know, it's like all destroyed now. But, yeah, I mean it's close to the tollway. I mean let's, let's look right here. Um, I'm going to drop something here. And then I'm going to put directions. Uh, 
That was Fort Worth International Airport. That's about a half hour away. Yeah, the most is like 40 minutes. So, that's like a pretty good place to go. Or, what they could do, they could, and this is actually, yes, this is an actual airport, which is actually pretty cool. Because if they decide to build up McKinney National Airport, um, they could build up there. Which would be, which I think in my opinion would be pretty cool. Because, yeah, like anywhere near here, um, or over here, they got a lot of space to develop. I mean, could they develop into the, in the downtown Fort Worth? Maybe. Let's look. I mean, I don't know exactly where they could develop. Oh, wow. Well. Actually, they could develop, like, somewhere. Hmm. I'm, I'm just looking at to see where they could develop in Fort Worth. I mean, they developed right here. Uh, this is 121. So, yeah, like, if they decided to do it, like, right here. Like, look. No. Dallas Fort Worth International Airport to Fort Worth. So, just that drive is a 25 minute drive because. And look. And look, you have a line from Fort Worth that runs directly to the airport itself so there's a lot you can do oh where's Fort Worth oh here it's Fort Worth yeah so there's a lot of places you can go now I don't think that they're gonna try to do this because this is this is Lockheed Martin this is a this is, a, this is, a, this is an Air Force base or is this this is a something of a base because this is where Lockheed Martin's headquarters is. So yeah, they got a lot of stuff actually. There's a lot you can do here. There's a lot you can do here in Dallas Fort Worth. It's probably like, even though like, not a lot of people really say much about Dallas Fort Worth because well, they're like, ah, oh, you don't really need to. It's just Dallas Fort Worth. It's it. That's what it is. But, yeah. Dallas Fort Worth is actually a pretty good place to come. Especially since DFW Airport is, is located in a strategic spot because it's about a half hour away from both Dallas and Fort Worth on traffic. So, I mean, you can go place. I mean, you can do things here. It's pretty cool how Amazon's gonna build a second headquarters. I just want to see where they put it because I mean, I would definitely think they're gonna probably do it on either probably probably on 35 West since like 35E is like not really. It's like. It's like not a lot of space on 35E. And besides, if you do something like on 35 West, like let's say in Argyle, you build up Argyle, that's going to bring in lots of, of development here, especially on the 35 West. And that's, and I mean, you can take, and I think what they should do is they should. Oh, wow. Actually, I did not know this. And then I think in the near future, they're going to build a, actually, yeah, they're going to, because look, this is already a highway, right, of some sort right here. Oops. Okay. Oops. Yeah, let me, going back to Dallas, Dallas, Fort Worth. Yeah, because I think, yes, 114 does not 
I mean, look. 114 doesn't look... It looks like, like right here... It, I think even here, this is this looks like it's going to become a... Thing. Oh, wow, this is Sam's Club's Fulfillment Center. And GE Manufacturing stuff. But yeah, like, between... What is this road? Between County Route 156 and, like, 121, they could definitely build a highway here, and that's going to bring in much more development. Because, look, if they do that... Number one, Texas Motor Speedway is right here. So, I mean, you could make, like, an interchange here that allow you to go there. And they also have a North Reed, they also have a regional airport. Which, I don't know who uses it, but, yeah. Wait. Oh, this is kind of like where all, of like, the amateur people are going to come. So yeah, um, I really hope you guys liked uh, this video. I especially hope that you guys will probably see what Amazon headquarters is going to be like. I mean, if y'all know, if y'all know about Seattle's Amazon, uh, Seattle's headquarters on Amazon, or you've been paying attention, they're doing this because when they said this in September, it was like the biggest thing of all throughout the year. Because since October, they've been doing this. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, like and subscribe. And stay tuned for some of the uh, other places that I'm going all about. Because it's going to be pretty cool. Peace.